In today's video, I'm going to show you the 2024 Go High Level Conversations tab. And if you stay till the end of the video, I'll even show you some advanced automations that you can plug into that conversations tab so you don't have to reply to the messages yourself. And instead, you can take selfies with monkeys because that's what life is about. Having fun, living life and letting automations, letting Go High Level do all the hard work for you and i'll even put those automations in a snapshot link so with one click of a button again you can install them in your own high level account so let's jump right in once we're in the conversations tab we're basically brought straight away to the unread section where you'll find your new messages like this one from adrian trying to tell me that he can help me grow my instagram profile through google ads interesting if i wanted to now get rid of adrian's message and i don't know adrian or most of these other people down here um i could go ahead and start if it was important i could mark it as red and it would disappear or i could go ahead and delete it so what we'll do for now is we'll mark it as red and what happened now is it disappeared again from unread because we marked it as red and we can find it in recent so once you lose a message like that and you're looking for an inbound message you can always find it here again under recents and there's adrian again if again his message was very important to us we could go ahead and start it or we could archive it into a certain folder but now that we've started it it's got this little yellow star or sign banner up here on the top right corner and a little white star in it. And we can find his message under starred. And while we're in the starred section, I wanted to point out since Adrian is not really one of my contacts and he only reached out through Instagram DM, I only can message him back through Instagram DM. Whereas if I go down to Humberto right here, we have his SMS and his email, but we don't have his Instagram, we don't have his Facebook, and that's why that's not populating or showing up. But again, if I wanted to send him an SMS, I could just type a message right here. If I wanted to send him an email, I could go ahead and send him an email right here. And this is definitely Humberto's real email address. So definitely send him an email. And once we scroll up to Humberto's messages, basically he was a Facebook lead. Once he came in, I send him automated messages through Facebook. But so he filled out a Facebook form ad in, yeah, Facebook. I was, yeah, he was again a Facebook lead. <laughs> I think I got to mention that one more time. And at the end of the form ad, I had a calendar link. So as soon as he filled out the ad, he actually went ahead and self booked an appointment on the calendar right here. And so that's showing up here in the conversations tab as well. And then an opportunity was automatically created for Humberto as well. And then the first SMS, uh, follow up SMS basically was triggered all within, well, not a couple of seconds because he did um, reach out during a weird time. And so that's why the SMS, the campaign first triggered during another time. And um, so I wanted to show that, that again, appointments and opportunities are kept track of in this conversations tab as well. And then once we click over here or look over here on the right side, we can see his contact details, basically CRM details for his contact. And that's because we have this or this is automatically selected, this contacts tab over here. And once we go down to appointments, we can see all the appointments that this contact has ever booked with us. And once we go down here, these are the opportunities. And again, we can see, yeah, the opportunity associated with this contact, the pipeline it's in and all that good stuff. So this is pretty neat to just be able to click around and find that information really fast and handy. If we wanted to, again, get rid of Humberto or Adrian right here, we could just go ahead and unstar his message with that button up there. The last little folder or tab that I want to show up here is the all folder. If you have any campaigns and as it says, this is everything. This is sent as uh, so, so inbound messages and outbound messages um, uh, from any point in time. And so if you have some sort of email campaign going in your automations, this is where you would find that data and you could keep track and see if if the messages actually did send like they were supposed to. If now in this all folder, you wanted to find a specific contact, like let's just stick to Humberto, we could just type in his name and boom, there we go. We've got his conversations. And if we wanted to filter, let's just go ahead and delete this real fast. Then this little button right here can be pretty useful. It's the filter button. So if we, for example, wanted to look at my chat or another employee's chat 
or inbound outbound. Again, this is basically where you can filter through the messages. Manual automated might be helpful. And um, yeah, let's just click on Instagram. Let's hit apply and boom, there we go. We only have Instagram messages now. And if we wanted to clear that, we can just deselect it and apply it again and we'll be back to that. If you wanted to, for whatever reason, just create a new message to any me contact, like let's say again, Humberto, then boom, you can find his contact profile and send him an instant message from this little tab right there. As you can see, it's very helpful to just hover over some of these buttons and see what they actually mean. So here's just more filters, very similar to these filters over here. You can apply some filters over here as well, a little bit more detailed. We could add some emojis. We could uh, insert a template or a snippet. We'll get to that in a second. We could request payment with a specific payment link that you can create, which is pretty cool as well. And um, yeah, we can do more as well. So uh, just check it out. There's not a lot that you can break. Um, I would again, just recommend trying it out and seeing what happens kind of stuff. So while we're talking about, I was mentioning snippets right here. If we go up here, we've got other tabs as well. And these tabs can be found within other parts of the software as well. But I guess just to make it as fast and handy as possible, High Level decided to put them up here as well. So manual actions are kind of like tasks that if you have them in automation, like let's say somebody calls and you miss the call, you could create an automation to give them a call back and create a task or a manual action for you to execute. You would find that action right here. Templates are again those snippets that I was talking about. So if you have a recurring message like your opening hours, your location, something like that, that people just keep asking you and you want to automate or not necessarily automate, but create a template for that's where you would do that here. And templates are specific for either text messaging or email. Um, yeah, email sending. So that's where you would again create a template or a snippet for each one of those and can be super handy. And trigger links are very, very handy. Basically links specifically for one contact that once that link is clicked, that action, that link click is associated with that contact. So for example, I used to run a lot of review reactivation campaigns for past customers and their Google business profiles. And once a customer clicked on that review reactivation link, that which was a trigger link, they were taking off of that campaign automatically so that we don't keep bothering them. So once they click the link, we didn't like send them a second, third, fourth follow up message. So that's a very useful case of, again, trigger links. But without further ado, let's jump into my demo account called like this video. And uh, let's jump into this folder right here in the automation section of the software, incoming lead follow up. Because here I went ahead and created five automations for five different outreach channels from web chat to GMB messaging, Facebook, contact us forum to Instagram DMs, so that once a message comes into that conversations tab, you can go ahead and automate that initial uh, reply back. So I don't wanna dive too deep into these automations, but I went ahead and opened up this web chat one, for example. And if you want to access any of these automations, I put a snapshot link down below, which basically allows you with a couple of clicks of a button to copy these automations, all of these automations, and install them into your own high level account completely for free. So if you like that and you're thankful for that for me for building them out and saving you some time, then it I would appreciate it if you uh, liked this video and subscribed. But let's again jump into this web chat um, automation right here and just have a quick look at it. They're all very, very similar. So once the customer replies, this is the tr the trigger, the customer replies via the reply channel chat widget, then this automation fires off. And let me just move myself up a little bit. And that's basically like, that's the initial trigger for all of these automations. So if you wanna change that initial trigger to again, be email, Facebook Messenger, GMB, Instagram DM, then you would just have to change this initial trigger. And um, that's pretty much the main difference between these. So here's GMB messaging and uh, yeah, initial triggers GMB. Here's Instagram DM and the initial triggers Instagram DM. And they do a little bit alternate in the bottom workflow as well, but they are still very similar. So um, yeah, let's just go back to web chat. And what happens then is we wait 30 seconds. No big deal, just waiting. And this is an if else condition. So if one thing happens, if the contact doesn't have tags and tags are empty, then we're gonna go down uh, to down this branch right here. And we're gonna add a note. We're gonna say this is a new lead. Cause again, this lead does not have tags. 
And um, if it doesn't have tags and it's a new lead, we want to go ahead and create an opportunity and be like, hey, this is a web chat lead. This lead, again, came from the website. So he was not, you know, just cold DMing me. So I want to create an opportunity and make sure, you know, it's noted in notes and make sure I can track that data again with the opportunity name being contact name and web chat. So and if it's if the contact does have tags, it's not a new lead. We're going to say this is an existing contact and we're just going to combine those trees down here again. We're going to send an internal notification. We're going to tag it and make sure that we know this came from web chat. We're going to wait. And then this is another simple if else condition basically saying it might look a little complicated, but it's just saying if this is in work hours, then um, and it's weekdays, then let's send them an SMS saying, hey, we'll be back to you shortly. We're, we are working. We'll be back to you shortly. If you have any questions in the meanwhile, you can ask us here. But if it's again out of work hours and it's the weekend, for example, or it's midnight, we want to let them know, hey, thanks for reaching out. But our office is closed right now. So very small differences. You don't have to make it as complicated as this. You don't need these if else conditions. It can be a straight string of automations and very simple. Um, but again, if you want to make it a little bit more advanced and personalize this for you, you can just go ahead and delete stuff and yeah, just build it out for you. And if you have any questions about automations, because they can be overwhelming at, at the beginning, then just go ahead and comment them down below. And again, these other automations for GMB or for Instagram DM, they're very, very similar, a little bit different here and there, but again, very similar. So just check them out. And like I said, I did create a free snapshot link right down below this video. You don't even have to give me your email. It's completely free. So if you want to install this really fast into your own high level account, just click the snapshot link down below. Like this video because I put this time and effort into creating that snapshot. And uh, I hope you follow me and subscribe as well because uh, I'd love to see you on my channel. I'll be creating a lot more videos about Go High Level and just short, simple uh, tutorials like this. And I'll try to make it a little bit fun as well. So if you have any questions, just ask me and I'll see you in the next video. I hope you have a lovely day. Peace over and out.